That's it. They're all in. They're off. Five of them come away from the stalls for the Alpesti Equi World. Dubai, Middleton, Philly Stakes, Group 2 prize over the extended mile and a quarter. Sapphire Seas in the uh, raw blue was the first to break the line of five. Free wind dropped out in last place. She was just a little bit slow in finding her early stride. And it's Sapphire Seas who takes them along at around the mid-30s miles an hour in the early part of the race. To Carnarvon and the purple and green racing on the far side of blue stocking. Infinite Cosmos, dark blue with a yellow cap for Ryan Moore in fourth place. And the white-faced free wind racing last of the five but firmly in touch as they move down towards the seven marker sapphire seas over carnarvon blue stocking racing a very close third and then infinite cosmos and free wind moving towards the final three quarters of a mile and heading into the turn led by sapphire seas and will buick Carnarvon, James Doll sitting at the leader's quarters. Blue stocking, pink cap, the Judmont Silks for Ross Orion in third. Ryan Moore in fourth place on Infinite Cosmos and Kieran Schumacher aboard Freewind looking on as they move through halfway in the Middleton with very little change in the order. And it's been a medium sort of a gallop around the mid-30s uh, throughout as Sapphire Seeds leads them into the straight and on towards the last half mile. Over Carnarvon and Blue Stocking, second and third, respectively. Free Wind is now just being asked to close on the far side. White Jacket upsides Infinite Cosmos, who makes her effort down the centre. Three lengths would cover the field. They're inside the final three furlongs. Buick holding together Sapphire Seas. One from the right, Blue Stocking, ranging up to have a crack at the lead. Carnarvon backs out of it. Free Wind's making hard work of it on the extreme right. Infinite Cosmos is ridden along. And now Blue Stocking draws alongside Sapphire Seas. Blue Stocking nursed into a narrow lead inside the last furlong and now is asked to assert to her credit. She stretches on, she picks up, she bounds clear from Sapphire Seas, Infinite Cosmos. Nothing much from Free Wind. Today is Blue Stocking's day under a confident, patient ride from Ross Orion. Blue Stocking runs out a convincing winner of the Middleton over Free Wind, Infinite Cosmos, followed in by Sapphire Seas. The Albasti Equal Dubai Middleton Six has been won by Blue Stocking in, in, in devastating fashion. Rip Beckett joins me. That was so impressive. It's about time, isn't it, Niall? You know, uh, bridesmaid too many times last year. Oh, yeah. I thought, you know, I thought she'd look well all week, but actually, saddling her, I thought she could have looked better, you know. So, um, but it's great. It's great to get that uh, that proper race under our belt. And uh, I, you just asked me where we'll go. I don't know. As you pointed out, we're well ended up, and we'll work it out as we go along. I think the way the race panned out, were you worried when she hit the front? That, but she was straight and through, wasn't she? Yeah. And maybe that's what she need. What she needed was today for that to happen today. You know, and maybe it'll become more straightforward from now on. I certainly hope so. Yeah, she really did look. When I, I was a bit watching and thinking, we're in front plenty soon enough. What did she do? But she was straight and through. Yeah, and he, he, uh, you know, we discussed it before, and we didn't plan to hit the front until inside the distance. So that wasn't how it worked out. But it's great. It's great to get it done. Hadras was Gold Cup. It's a possibility, but I mean, you know, she. she we we'll see how she comes out of it. I'll work it out. She's in everything. She's a coronation car. She's in everything. So we'll, we'll work it out. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to walk in with Ross Ryan after he steered Blue Stocking to success in the Middleton. And that was really, really impressive. Surprised a few of us. You? Um, she surprised me how much gear she showed. Um, but uh, it was always a case last year that we held her in nice regard. And she was going to be better this year. She's a big filly. Yeah and ped pedigree would suggest she will get better with age and um, you know she will come on there's no doubt on that her homework would say she'll come on so um, she showed last year that she's bang up there with the top fillies so and I think the, be the, the softer and slower the ground gets the better she'll be so at least she's fulfilling what we thought of her. Yeah. Um, when you hit the front, I was w worried watching on what would she, would she go and be straight and through, but she was just a... So did I, um, but I couldn't hang on any longer. Um, but Rafe applied cheek pieces to her last year for the Champions Day. And just because she did what she did in Chester, and today with the cheek pieces on, I think, I think really and truly, um, Niall, it was just a bit of immaturity last year, to be quite honest with you. She didn't really know how to put a race to bed, and she knows now, and... Um, yeah, the future is bright for her, for sure. Numerically, you're flying, but to have quality like this here is great, isn't it? Brilliant, brilliant. I couldn't ask for any more. Um, 
they're just starting to come now. Uh, it's taken us a while, we've been a bit behind, but they're coming now, so it's brilliant. If they did say to you, pick her next race, Tattersall's Gold Cup, she's in the hard work, she's obviously in the Carnation, pretty poly. Where would you like to ride her? Um, I will leave answer. Rafe. You've got to answer. <laughs> I wouldn't... It's loose ground? Well, yeah, I think so. I wasn't... She ran in the Newbury Classic trial last year, and I wasn't keen of her going to Epsom. I didn't think she'd handle it because she's so big. She might do this year, but I don't know. She's kind of now she's won that impressively over a mile and a quarter against all the fillies. Um, you'd be disappointed. You'd be probably working back from the Yorkshire Oaks, and you think, you know, they're probably as good as fillies that are around. Um, and she trounced them. Yeah, so, yeah, I'd say you'll have a... I would imagine when Rafe sits down later on with the catalogue and a cup of tea, he'll be happy looking through it. It'll be something stronger than a cup of tea. Well done. I see. I see. Yeah, cheers. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.